England have crashed out at the semi-final stage. This time to Croatia an extra time. I'd hate to say that I was fucking surprised because I'm really not. I mean, once we missed all them chances, I only seen it going one way. Yeah. Half time could should have been 2-0 up. Could have been 3-0 up. Like just ch chances bottles, typical in England, like. Like, I, I don't really want to like slag them off too much because like we've getting we're, we've getting like so far. We should be. Not we, I think we should be so proud of where we are to be honest, personally. But at the same time, like we, we should have been further. I didn't honestly. Uh, right, like, I was I, so. I really think we're bottled today. I uh, must have bottled it. Like, we've getting so Harry far. Kane. We've getting so far through the tournament so well. Like the whole country's come together. Like, I've never seen anything like it in my mm. lifetime. Like mm. it's literally been like so like patriotic. Like I feel like so proud. Like. To be English right uh, now and get to get that, to like. this far, but like, like just that one little stage and against a team that weren't even that good. Nah, and, and we're that's what I mean. That's, this, that's like, the hard thing to take. So yeah, that's, that's what's fucking deflating is because yeah. it's fucking Croatia, man. Like England are never. Croatia's ever, a good team. Never ever going to get a chance yeah. like this again. There's no Brazil's, Argentina, Germany, Spain's, Portugal's, Italy's, Holland's. There's none of that. Yeah. You're playing Croatia for a chance to get one hand on the fucking trophy of the World Cup. Yeah, well, it's quite, never well, ever going to happen again. Yeah, We're well, lucky that it's even happened this run. our lifetime. It's been 28 years yeah. since we reached the semi. It's been since 66 since we reached the fucking final. It probably will never happen again in our lifetime. Yeah, and, and it's just that's, 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 that's the worst thing to say. That's so hard to take. Right? Like, we we'll take we we'll take the 50, lead. 52 years since we've been to the final. Mm. We we'll take the lead against Croatia. Five minutes, great free kick from Trippier, and we'll have a great first half. But it's it's the main man. I didn't want to sleep him too much. It's for captain. It's a top. It's the it's the guy who's going to get the golden boot. It's Harry Kane that's missed one, two, three golden opportunities. Even at the end there, we're not even talking about the yeah. one where the keeper saves it and then he hits the post. Even at the end there, it's like the Tunisia one where the head eye should be on the end of it, should have went in. It's you just, just feel those like, missed chances. Like, as like soon as he hit the post, League. I thought, that's yeah. it. That's you feel it. Like if it was the Premier League in Tottenham, like they would have been fucking done with. Aye, like, they think. would have been fucking just sold. Mm. I did, as soon as we missed them chances, I just had an awful feeling. I had to get in the toilet. I needed shit after <laughs> shit. Nervous shit. Paint after paint. I just couldn't handle it. It was just awful. And I just I had this terrible feeling that that's what it was going to come down to. Like, I just felt Croatia. Like, I had a bet on Croatia extra time. I seen, Cro <laughs> yeah, I, I seen Croatia. I mean, the, the last two games, they went through at penalties. I thought this one's going to go similar. You'd think, though, with their aging squad, our pace, youthness was Holding yeah. them early on, we didn't about, kick on enough. Rashford and Vardy weren't yeah. good enough. When they came that's on. what everyone was saying from the start. Like England's got a very good, youthful, paceful side, and uh, Croatia are aging. Mm. So I thought, like, the longer the game goes on, the longer we'll have like the fresher legs and kick on. But it just didn't happen. No. Like, even like putting like the pace of Rashford and Vardy on just didn't really. Like, work, once Rashford but... came on, I was happy. I thought, right, that once was a great next change. Like, yeah, like, like even, even Rose to come on for young bit pace, but nothing ever got going. And England just. Totally fucking bottled it tonight. It's what I thought was going to happen when it went extra time in penalties with Colombia, but it's what happened tonight. They just absolutely bottled it. And once I went to extra time, I've seen penalties, but like typical England, like the last two semi finals have been who have gone out on penalties. So I've seen penalties a fucking country mile off, but didn't really expect to win. Uh, Stones was sleeping, and I mean, again, I mean, how many chances did we did create though from the second half? We just didn't do enough, and we yeah, it's, it's, like, it's, like, it's like we didn't really want it that much. Like it's as if we put all the effort in in the first half, even though we could have had like another goal or two. Then second half and extra time, like 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 Croatia just looked like they wanted it more, but mm. they weren't great. They were shit. They were, That's they the worst thing about it. Like they I weren't outstanding. Poor. I do rate Croatia as a decent side. They've got very good individuals. And I, I was thinking Radic, about... Perisic, Modric, Mandzukic, Sabasic, uh, the keeper, Lovren, the dirty cunt the day. He's a fucking prick. Him, How bro. the fuck didn't he get caught there? Many a times the Turkish referee was leaning on him in the first half. Ah, the referee was a fucking cockbag. Uh, I mean, I, I hate blaming referees on shit. Like, I, none of his decisions, I don't, don't think, went against England. But nothing went forward. Like, like, just, just nothing went forward. I like, that's what I'm saying. Like, like, so that wasn't a, a dodgy offside or like fucking penalty call or anything like that. Like, so the referee didn't decide Massively the game. The game eh? But he, he was shit. Mm. Like, he was fucking. Like, I think it's just FIFA. Like, I don't know what it is with FIFA. Like, they just fucking hate England. It's like fucking Sepp Blatter all over again. Like, uh, Sepp Blatter might, be, might as well be the referee. And I think fucking hates England. I do think. Like I said it in the last video after we beat Sweden. Whoever beat 
whoever won between France and Belgium would win the World Cup. And I do think yeah, England would have probably yeah. got beat off France in the France, final. France are not. But it would have been team. nice just to be there. Do you know what I mean? Then I would have had more pride. Then I would have accepted a defeat against a world class side. Yeah. But when it's Croatia in the yeah. semi finals for a chance to get to a final, yeah. it's just really fucking hard to take, man. Yeah, I'm I'm very proud of the boys to get to the semi final. But like you say, like. It is Croatia. We should have been the better team. We should have seen them, put them aside, got the final. Ari lose against France, but fuck, so fuck. Like first final since for fifty two years. That's what I mean. I second final ever in any competition. Aye. Never been to a Euros final. One World Cup final in nineteen sixty six. Mm. Fifty two year ago. It's it's just fucking piss poor. Out like, like like this isn't even our best squad. Like if you look back to the golden generation of like Lampards, Beckhams, Gerrards, Scorsese's, uh, Owens, Rooney's, Rooney, yeah. fucking ah, oh, that like like this team isn't even that good, but like I know, we've, but it's just like, we've just gelled, it, like, like, we've just gelled so much. The spirit, like massive credit to Gareth Southgate, because uh, me as well as I think about ninety nine percent of the country didn't want Gareth Southgate mm. before the tournament. Thought he scored with shit. Everyone's fell in love with him, haven't they? Like. I think, just, I, think the way made, yourself, I think the way he's fucking made the team gel has been absolutely outstanding. Well, playing some good stuff until that second half, I think. Yeah. Bobby Robson got a fucking knighthood for his semi final product in uh, 1990, yeah. so fucking Sir Gareth Southgate salute, but team fuck off. <laughs> I was just thinking about how I got fair that he would have got it, but now, like, I mean, heading into the future for England, obviously, it's that Nations League shit that starts in September, isn't it? Oh, does it? Aye, where it's like the, the top uh, four teams. I don't really fucking understand. I'm really very much into it, but I think we're in a group of like Spain, a couple of other teams, and it's to make like the national friendlies more competitive. But yeah. we'll tie with that when we now move about more about it really because I don't really know much. But about now it. we've got the third place playoff to look to. The most pointless game in the history of football. <laughs> the third place playoff because oh here's your bronze medal, lads. Uh, Everyone would rather just fucking Ghana. It's, 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 Everyone it's, would it's just Belgium Ghanian. again. It might as well be Belgium B V England B again. Like and it's just going to be like oh Danny Welbeck's like, fancy run out. They really fucking you know fun. no one gives a shit. I mean, I mean you're probably you're going to get a bronze medal for us. Like a bronze medal is better than name medal, but it's not a gold. No, but it, who's it's, it's who's really going to go home? Really. Oh, I finished Look, third place. Guys. I didn't get the final, but I got a medal. Like, I finished third oh, place. Like, no one cares. Like, no one gives a fuck about second place, no, I mean third place. Oh, runners up. Now, if it was runners up, Newcastle would be the best team in the 90s. Really, Newcastle, final after final in the 90s. I, I like to say, it really, really annoys me when I watch finals and, like, runner ups, like, like, because, like, the runner ups go for their medals beforehand and they take the medals off and they're fucking raging. Like, that pisses me off, that. Because, like, You've earned a silver medal. The car- in the crowd and everything. And all the uh, like, like, like you've earned a silver medal. And I, and I won the gold. Like no one wants a silver medal, but like you are second of everyone in that year. Mm. Take your silver medal and enjoy it. Like f- like put it on. Like put it in your fucking trophy room. I think it's just a little like, bit. Like, and that's, and that's, that's like, disappointing and deflating. But it's a silver medal at the end of the day, man. Fucking hell. Like, like, better than a bronze one. Like like how many people can say you got the like a champ- like Champions League final, World Cup final, League, Euros aye. final, like. Aye. Like whatever, like right, some medals still. Some next one is the Euros, and the final will be at Wembley in 2020. Yeah. Because they're doing that mad thing where it's on the anniversary of UEFA, where mm. they, it's spread across like eight countries, is it? Yeah. So, but I think I think, that, I think looking into that, like I think we're looking good because, our, like I say, like our squad's still very young. Like I think the squad will probably be very similar unless there's a couple of other youngins like banging on the door because it's only two years away. Mm. So there's got to be a couple of youngins banging on the door now. And if not, like I think the squad will be very, very similar. Southgate definitely deserves another uh, two, there. at least four oh, years for the next World Cup. So. And I mean, players he's like stripes, Lingard, who's been brilliant, who should have put one the way of the night. Uh, Trippier, who's been outstanding. Maguire, Pickford, yeah. all young lads who will obviously kick on, hopefully. So, we've, obviously, right now it's hard to take. Yeah, very. But uh, with the semi finals and finals being in Wembley in 2020, then it's. Hopefully we can recoup, rejuvenate, yeah. and look for that and get around there the next time. Because I mean, you look at France two years ago, got beaten the final, uh-huh. young side, and now they're in the final two years later come Sunday, and I'm sure they'll win it because Croatia aren't a great side. Well, you, you, but you the way this gone, and I never know. Yeah. But my point being is that England in two years' time will hopefully kick on like the young French side has. Yeah, yeah. But for now, we we'll look forward to the tune. We look forward Kennedy. to getting pissed every Saturday. North Terrace, war flags, Kennedy, lovely away kits. 
Hopefully a proper striker. Hopefully a top nine. Hopefully some fucking money. And hopefully in our top ten England semi final, back to back. Can I complain of that? Hopefully we kick on, get some money signed. Newcastle push on and Rafa stays. And most of all, enjoy yourselves. <laughs>